So another new update available for the Pixel devices and this one is another major one. This is not QPR2, this is Android Canary in case you don't know. Android Canary is there from some time now. We already had two Canary versions and now this is the third one, Android version Canary. And it is actually different from the QPR2 which is just released by Google QPR2. We have a beta one available for that. It's not even QPR1. Those are different things. This is a different one. But the features which you are getting with Canary might be available later on with the QPR2. PR stables and so on. For now, one of the biggest change which many of users were looking forward to is regarding the icons. We have icon pack pre-installed icon shape options, icon customizations available. And it was actually it was actually in into these things like many of the users were looking forward to this. It was in talks, but it's finally here. But one thing which I found here as even if you change these icon styles, for example, we have five styles available, including the default one. The icons will not be changed on the app, but only on the home screen. So a bit disappointing. Maybe this will be this will be changed in the next update. But for now, this is what we have. Uh, because this is Android Canary, it's not QPR. But what about the QPR2 features? Are those available? As you can see, those are. For example, if you click on click and hold on any icon on the home screen, you have the option for this remove icon, which was not there previously in the previous versions. Same goes with the widgets. We have a new widget preview UI and we have the option for two things, featured and browse, so you can use them. Things are good in this case, this new widget UI, in my personal opinion, I guess it's good. It's quite good as compared to the previous one, previous UI, which was there with Android 15, Android 16 stable version and so on, even with the QPR one. And yes, these features might not come with the QPR one stable because this is based on QPR two and this is Android Canary. So this will be a different thing. We also have the flashlight strength option available. So now you can customize the flashlight strength in your Pixel device. Not so sure if you will see this in some custom rooms and so on, but in Pixel devices, it is available. It is introduced with the Canary version. It is not present with the QPR2 beta 1. Maybe in beta 2, it will be there. Not so sure. But for now, in beta 1, it's not there. And the things I'm showing you right now with Android Canary, it is not guaranteed that all these features will come with QPR2 stable. Maybe next time, even some features might come with Android 17. Not so sure. If you move on to lock screen, and yes, we have the lock screen widgets options available. Move on to move more lock screen options. You will notice the option named as widgets on lock screen. And you have to turn on this option if you want to use lock screen widgets. And it is it was actually introduced with QPR2 beta 1. And it's also available with Android Canary. Simply hold on the lock screen as you can see, simply swipe and then you will see some kind of pop-up things like explore hub mode and also when you will try to hold the home screen, the lock screen basically, you will notice this lock screen widgets. To open an app using a widget, you will need to verify that it's you. So we have some information related to that lock screen widgets basically. So you can simply click on got it, click on add widget and some options. One thing which I found which is a bit strange but it is available. For example, if I try to enable some widgets directly from here, directly placing the lock screen. So for example, this is the one. If I want to resize them, like resize, reposition, so on, it is actually, it is buggy in Android 16 QPR 2 beta 1. But in Android Canary, it's available, it's working fine, no issues with that. So it's sometimes strange, but it is here. Also, you will notice the blur behind these lock screen widgets. Even the lock screen does not have the blur by default. So that's actually quite outstanding. Other than else, the settings UI, when you scroll, the search bar is still there. So it's consistent and it will not go on and off and so on. If you move on to some other options, digital well-being and parental controls are already different. But again, a strange thing, parental controls are not working in this case in Android Canary. But those are actually working with Android 16's QPR2 beta 1. Uh, thumb thing, some things are so interesting ones, some things are different ones. Uh, other than else like enhanced HDR brightness, it was already introduced with Android Canary and it's actually there with Android Canary version 3 also. Many of you might get confused with Android QPR 1, Android 16's QPR 1, Android 16 QPR 2 beta 1 and now Android Canary but it is what it is. So features, things available, just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Android updates and so on. So this is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.